What we've done is we've standardized the EcoBoost performance package and the GT performance package from the US. So by standardizing the performance pack, we brought into upgrades in terms of brakes, the suspension, and stiffening the car itself by implementing a K-brace. The new Mustang suspension has been really designed from scratch. And what we've done is we've actually implemented here double ball joint suspension at the front and for the first time on a Mustang, an independent rear suspension. By implementing a bonnet design like that, which is flowing down, we managed to get the air drag forces down by 3%. The splitter down here, this one helps us to get really a downforce on your front part of the car. The boot design is actually something acting like a spoiler. So by creating this little notch up here, we're getting the downforces onto the rear wheels, which we need to bring the force of the car and the torque of the car into life. The position and the shape of the wing mirror ensures that the aerodynamic flow is guided in a way that it is very, very silent in sight and it is electrical foldable. And there is another nice feature with these mirrors. There is a projector in sight which puts the Mustang logo on the ground when you enter and exit. Now we are finally inside the Mustang and honestly, that's the place to be, right on this seat. The seats are very sporty, very comfortable at the same time. You can adjust the steering wheel to the point where you want to. There are three toggles which are really important. One is switching on and off the ESP for those times you really want to do drifting. The next one is steering effort. When you're steering the car, especially downtown, you may want to have a softer steering feel because you do not want to work hard really in cornering. So you can change it here very, very easily. And the third one, that's the real magic button that changes the drive modes. And the drive modes, we've got four of them, can be changed by ticking it up and then you come from normal, easy to drive, easy to handle and gives you the control you want. To Sport Plus, it changes your ESP settings, changes your traction control and if you've got an automatic transmission, it significantly changes the shifting points. The track mode reduces the ESP, at the same time it changes the steering mode to hard from normal. And finally, to snow and wet. It helps you really handling a car with this kind of torque, this kind of horsepower and rear wheel drive to handle it in snow or in wet conditions. In summary, driving dynamics of this Ford Mustang are absolutely perfect. You've got a great seating position and you've got some electronical help which helps you out every single situation you can imagine. So the Ford Mustang is in the end one of the best driving cars available on the market.